guys, Ralph, Ralph's Automotive. Uh, this video here is actually going to be a follow-up on a video that I posted uh, some time ago about a homemade pressure transducer. It's the one seen on the left. And we're going to compare this today with the Pico down there on the right of the screen. I ended up being lucky enough I'm going to say to buy one of them and uh, without further ado let, let's go look at the uh, comparison between the two okay guys in the previous video I showed how to make the uh, homemade pressure transducer this is the eBay special uh, 0 to 300 yeah 0 to 300 and today I'm going to show you what that pressure transducer is actually going to put on the screen. This is me using my Pico. So here we go. The screen is a little bit slow. Okay, guys, so that's what that looks like. So this homemade transducer. Oh, I hate that mouse. It's claiming 47 PSI. And... We can zoom into this a little bit. You see ex just about what this waveform will look like. And let's go ahead and switch over to our Pico. Let me go ahead and save this. Okay, here we go. There you have it, guys. That's what the Pico will do. Get this saved up. Okay, guys, I just loaded up the uh, file for the uh, homemade transducer. I zoomed in. This is what the pattern will look like. We we'll can go a little bit more. So as you can see, we're looking at 47 PSI, give or take, that is. And now let's compare that number to what the Pico is telling us. Okay, once again, we're zoomed in. 
Okay, guys, we're 47.3. We were 47.1, I think it was, whatever. So, as you can see, the homemade transducer actually works just fine. Now, if anybody is interested in knowing why the image is looking so much different, that will have to be another video. I can explain what these humps here are where that comes into play because on the Pico other than the homemade transducer you can actually see all the the intake side and the exhaust side you can actually determine where everything is at it actually draws a complete picture of what's going on but as I said this is going to be another video if you like this video you want to see more if you want to see the explanation, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to make another video and explain uh, how to decode all this. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, one more quick thing, guys. Uh, I want to add something in there because I don't want nobody to, to misinterpret the, the, this video, the purpose of the video. Uh, the homemade transducer works just fine. I'm not knocking it in any way whatsoever. I have used that on numerous occasions. It's perfectly great for static pressures. Uh, I have used it on, on fuel. Uh, I mean, I use it all the time. There is nothing in the world wrong with it. it it's perfectly good. It's just that I was fortunate enough to be able to get a Pico, and, and the Pico is a wonderful tool. I'm not in any way affiliated or, or get any kind of kickback on it. I had to buy it, just like many, many other people. It's just that the Pico just happens to give you so much more. Yes, the expense part, it is a big factor. The, the Pico is expensive, but... It, I mean, once you get to using the tool, you understand why. I just wanted to add that in there and make sure everybody understood that. Again, I am not knocking the homemade sensors. They work perfectly fine. I use them all the time. All right, guys, again, thank you for watching. You like the video? Hey, subscribe. Thank you.